Well, the original idea was I was going to hit the safety of the raft rail on Terminus and shoot past the rail and do a front roll back. And then I over rotated a little bit, so I decided to try it again. I looked at it, I was like, that seems like a really crazy idea, and I went for it anyway. <laughs> I was like, it could go really good or it could go really bad. Eh, let's give it a go. Really cold. Not definitely not Florida weather. Last summer, we put one of these bad boys in the hands of John Hale. And now, we are going to see how it held up here at OWC. Obviously, there's nobody that spent more time on rails, kickers, and sliders than John Hale. So, this is going to be cool. Check it out. It goes through safeties, it goes through kickers, rails, it takes a beating and it keeps on going. It has a really nice shape and it has a really nice flex to it as well. It hasn't uh, affected any uh, normal riding, whether I'm riding the boat or the cable, it still rides the same. It's just uh, a little bit better on the, the cable park. Real hits. Well, you, you gain durability without losing performance, really is the main thing about it. You don't sacrifice any of the performance in your day-to-day -day use. It rides just as good behind a boat as it does at a park, on rails, off docks. Basically, if you're going to do parks and boats and back and forth, I wouldn't have anything else besides the base. I know this is Florida, but it is cold out here. I'm on dry land and I can't feel my fingers. Man, he must be frozen out there. Yeah, everything feels fine. It's just my hands are getting really cold. <laughs> I can't even feel the handle when I pass it. I'm cold just sitting here, so I can't imagine. Yeah, I thought the uh, life a lot smoother on the uh, rails and ramps. It uh, it's a really good board. It's perfect for cable parks. It doesn't bang up whenever you're hitting like rails or anything like that. So. What is the white stuff? I don't know, maybe it's part of the kicker because I, I can definitely scratch off the scratches. It looks like more of the material that the rails are made out of is on the bottom of the board rather than the, the coating coming off. The coating seems to be holding up very well. Its material is not coming off, it's the material from the ramps coming off of it. It is insane how tough that is. If you want a board that's going to hold up, for uh, durability wise, this is a board to go. Really nice uh, slider base. Awesome on the kicker too. It slides really well. Well, you had this since last summer, so it's 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 amazing that it's still in one piece as much as you ride. I've seen your boards in the past. You do a lot of riding, a lot of rails. There's no one else I I know a anywhere that spends more time on the kickers, on the jumps, on the sliders, um, and this board is is holding up. Yeah, it's a uh, it's really uh takes a beating. It doesn't look that bad. But that's the whole mind. That's what blows my mind. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, after all the abuse went yeah. through. When you guys first gave it to him, I'm like, I wonder how long it'll hold up. Now that I've seen it, and I know how he rides, it really impresses me. I didn't think it would hold up that well. I thought it would be more through by now. It's likewise, especially after the safety transfer. It's definitely going away every expectation I had. Yeah.
so we have 10 of these boards being made. Three of them are reserved for team riders, but seven of them will be open to the public. You should uh, go to your dealer and reserve one today.